today I decided I'm going to take myself on a date. I'm gonna cook myself steak dinner with mashed potatoes. And I just figured you guys can all go on a date with me. So let's get to cooking. <laughs> this is what I like to call a life of a loner. But I have a very cute kitty cat and I know my dog is upstairs raising havoc. Oh no, I hear it coming. <gasps> there she is. Ah! They're still not friends yet. It's only been three weeks. I bought it down. Who do you think you are? Okay, so guys, this is what I like to call the life of a loner. I, I'm not going on a date, so instead I'm dating all my, my supporters on social media because I love you guys. I just made this pumpkin pie, so we're gonna have pumpkin pie for dessert. I bought a giant steak for myself because I deserve the best. Keep that in mind, you boys that wanna date me. I deserve the best. Hey. Steak, but I make my mashed potatoes the extremely Caucasian way. No seasoning at all. This is the way my grandma's always made them and I love them, so don't even come for me. They're unseasoned, okay? Just with a lot, and I mean a lot of butter. I used to eat, when I was a kid, this is a funny story. When I was a kid, I used to love sticks of butter. And I remember, I actually, this is like a core memory. I remember it so, it's like so engraved in my brain. I took a whole pack of stick butter into the backyard and hid them in the bushes. So I walked inside, chewing on a stick of butter, and my mom was like, oh my gosh, give me that. So she took it and threw it away. No concern. I still have a whole stash in the backyard. So I went out, grabbed another stick, walked back inside. My mom was like, where are you getting these sticks of butter from? Took it away. You know what I do? Go inside, grab another stick of butter. She discovered my stash of sticks of butter and took them all from me. What a hater. This is why your guys' hate doesn't bother me. I grew up with a hater. Mom, taking my butter. First thing I need to do is peel these potatoes because who wants skin on their taters? I think I'm gonna cut up some cucumber for dinner too because I absolutely love cucumber. I crave like the weirdest things. I am really scared for the day that I'm like pregnant. Chasing you like a shot of whiskey. Burn it, go it down, chasing you. That song's been stuck in my head. This is really hard to do when I don't have someone here to help me film. It's crazy to think about how I like started on social media because when I started on social media, I didn't have any ring light. I didn't have anyone. I didn't have a team. And now it's like, I can't even film a video by myself. I really like need a team now. I have so much going on in my head. Guys, look, my dog is just chilling by me. Say hi, Mia. She's the cleaniest dog in the whole entire universe. So guys, how's date night going so far? I feel like we should have awkward conversations because that's how like dates are, you know? So what, what? Hmm, this is why dates are awkward. I never know what to talk about. Actually, fun fact, I've only really ever had a man, like one man take me on dates before. <laughs> this is why I date myself. I'm not about to settle for less. Queens know your worth. It's back! I really hate peeling potatoes, this is boring. This is incredibly boring, I still have four more. You know what I should be doing right now? I should be boiling the water. I got this giant pot. That's enough water. That was a cool day. Awesome. Great. Ultra heat, so it'll start to boil faster. Put this on top. What it do? I should probably just get out a cutting board. I hate dirty dishes because I just don't feel like washing them. So normally I can only cook and like eat when my hair is up. I don't have ponytail, so I'm using this bracelet. Hopefully it works. This is what we call cooking with a girl that has crippling ADHD. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Maybe this is why I'm not a very good cook. I don't know. Who knows? All right, so where are you from? This is a mic. That's really awesome. I'm from Michigan. Um, Yeah, currently uh, live in Los Angeles. I just bought a house. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I have a whole family now. I have a dog and a cat. They're pretty cool, pretty cool. Where did you go to school? That's cool. I went to Madonna University for two years. I was majoring in dance and then I dropped out because social media took off. What? is your dream. That's so cool. Keep following it, it's gonna happen. My dream, I'm actually currently living out my dreams right now. Like I could not ask for anything better. Potatoes, potatoes, we love potatoes. Love me, love me, say that you love me. All right, y'all, you can come back once my potatoes are peeled. All right, guys, I'm cutting up the last potato and the water is already boiling. You can hear it going crazy back there. Ugh. Yeah. Put some elbow into that. Okay. This is great. Awesome. Wonderful. Gonna just, you know. Woo! Whoa! 
that was easy my dog is always in the way she knows how to just be in the way let me know if your guys' dogs always know how to be in the way she's just such a big girl like she's just always there i wouldn't want it any different though i literally love my dog so freaking much all right guys so i got the steak right here it's a giant rib boy look at this baby i already know so many people that cook really well are going to be flaming me in the comments i already know it i already know it if you guys have any tips and tricks and you want to let me know please do so nicely i'm not a chef go down this and cut into it and make the little square so that it cooks evenly and set the seasoning gets in there i learned that trick i know i'm supposed to do that for sure yummy i need to get out my seasoning want some salt and pepper of course i'm gonna put some steak seasoning on it you always gotta have the garlic powder always gotta have the onion powder put a little bit of paprika maybe just a hair that's good. I don't want any like Cajun or anything. I don't really like spicy. So I'm just gonna start with this. Gotta put it on there. A little bit of paprika, just a little bit. The steak season and I always put on at the end. Some pepper. And then I'm just gonna press it in. Yeah, get in there, boy. This is gonna be so yummy. I can't wait. I also have cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce. I just got all this like random stuff that I like to eat because I deserve it. I'm a queen. Guys, I might take myself to go see Black Panther tonight. I'm thinking about it. I think I should. I haven't been to the movies in so long. Now I need to get a pan. And I need to get my olive oil. Olive oil is much healthier to cook with than vegetable oil, for those that didn't know. I don't even know which one likes what. My brain can just never remember that. And now, I'm gonna put this steaky steak in there. Mmm, that's gonna be a big boy. We got the taters going. Okay, so now while that's all cooking, I actually decided instead of cucumbers, I'm gonna make a salad, a Caesar salad. It's one of those like kits that's already ready to go. Good enough for me. I only do like half of it, but then I put all this stuff in. I need a bunch of dressing. I need it, otherwise I can't eat it. It's disgusting. I never use this little seasoning though. Gotta get all the Caesar out. I'm gonna grab me a little fork. And I'm just gonna mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Okay, salad's ready. Now I'm gonna flip the steak. I used my tongs this morning, so I'm literally using a fork to flip this. Help! I don't know how to do this, guys. Ah, okay! Oh yeah, that boy looks great. Mmm. This is where I start to get stressed because everything is done at the same time. <laughs> my potatoes are done. I put a strainer in the sink. these back in the pot. It looks like my salad is steaming. My steak seasoning, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit here. I put the temperature all the way down below. Oh my gosh, I can't flip it with this. I really need my tongs. Beautiful. Oh, this steak is so beautiful. I'm about to actually cut into it and make sure. I'm gonna like my stuff like medium rare. It's close, still needs a little more time. So while that is cooking, I'm going to make the mashed potatoes. Usually you use whole milk for these mashed potatoes, but I don't have any, so I'm just using 2%. Guys, I love milk so much. I drink so much milk. I'm gonna take a scoop of butter, take a big old hunk. Then I'm gonna get the mixer. All right, I'm gonna come back when they're mixed because this is noisy. Oh yeah. The 2% milk worked. All right, my steak is ready. And you know it's gonna be a good dinner when I bring out the glass plates. We're on a fancy date, folks. Look at this bad boy. Mmm. That is scrum dilly dumptious. Zooey mama. That's a beautiful steak. Now I'm gonna crack open the cranberry sauce. I have been craving this dinner for like four days. I'm so happy that the time is finally here. And the main reason I've been craving it is for the cranberry sauce. I'm really excited for this. I'm just gonna open this and hope it comes out. Okay, did that work? Yay! Try not to like cut myself here. Come on! Guys, I literally can't get this can. I think I just have a janky can opener to be completely honest. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Oh yeah! Look at that mighty fine slab of cranberry. I'm just gonna use my steak knife because I'm the only one eating this. Even though we're on a date, you know. Ah! 
No, beautiful boy. I think I'm gonna have four pieces of cranberry sauce. The rest I'm gonna put in the fridge for later. It's all about how you plate, you know? I'm totally being sarcastic too because I don't know how to plate. Look at my sweet boy and my sweet girl. Look at my kids. Hi, beautiful babies. Oh yeah. <laughs> Splat. And here is the final thing, scrum diddly dumptious. <laughs> My plating is so not skilled, guys. Oh my god. Thank you for cooking with me. I love you guys. Bye. I the back. I take care of myself. No, I don't need that.